Hello everyone, it's Alina. Welcome to my Soap General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. They say it's usually darkest before the storm, but the exact opposite is proving true as General Hospital Spencer and Trena are concerned, because right now they're having the time of their lives in Paris, but things are about to take a pretty dramatic turn. In Nicholas Alexander Chavez ready to quit the canvas before the week's out, Tabiana Ale tells Soap Opera Digest that what's about to unfold can be summed up in one word, riveting. It will surprise absolutely no one that at least some of the trouble going Spencer and Trina's way is being produced by Esma. Having retrieved her memories and had her son snatched out of town by Nicholas, Esma's been on a downward spiral. Having conked Kevin on the head, she's now the focus of an all-out manhunt. While evidence seems to point toward her having gone to Canada, we'll soon find out that's not truly the case. Concerned for her grandson and his love, Laura tries contacting to tell them that Esma might instead be going their way. Unfortunately, the connection is less than ideal, and the warning Laura wishes to deliver gets lost in translation. Trina thinks this is just an average call, that Laura is just trying to check in and make sure that Spencer is oak and fine, says Ali. In fact, Trina doesn't think there's necessarily anything out of the ordinary about that call. In fact, the young actress states that Trina's attention is most definitely not on Spencer's ex. She's thinking this is a new start, a new slate, she previews. I know she's not thinking about Esma. She's too busy living her life in this moment. She is nowhere close being anxious about what Esma's doing. And that friends very well out to be a very, very bad mistake. Because the lead-up to Chavez quitting the canvas briefly is what Ali calls riveting, adding that it's emotional, it's high stakes, and you can't miss it. In fact, she's got a bit of a warning for viewers. I want to tell everybody to please take their blood pressure pills, she jokes. People need to do whatever they need to make sure their blood pressure will stay down. Soaps.com has the newest new general hospital spoilers from Monday, January 29, to Friday, February 2. Spencer and Trina's trip to Paris goes from romantic to rocky thanks to an unforeseen twist. Meanwhile, Sunny and Laura have even more reason to unite. A familiar face returns, and Esm continues to avoid those seeking for her. Read on for all the details. Ooh la la. Things are getting quite swoonworthy in Paris as Spencer and Trina spend a romantic evening. The hunt for Esm is on, with Dante and Chase searching high and low for Ace's missing mom. Does this have anything to do with the news Alexis is going to dump on Laura? Curtis takes the first step, both proverbially and physically, down the road to recovery as he begins physical therapy. Something begins gnawing at the back of Finn's skull as he turns something about his case over and over in his head. The wait is almost over and we know the date for when Eden McCoy will be returning as Joss on your screens. It's one of those times that Diane excels at when she makes a stunning statement that's going to startle everyone in the courtroom. How will the important decision Curtis and Portia make influence their family? Spencer discovers something surprising. When Brennan was detained a few weeks back, we couldn't help but hope we'd see the slick operator again, and today that hope comes true as he is questioned by Jordan and Anna. Dex informs Sunny and Alva that they should be on high alert because of a threat on the horizon. Lois and Olivia seem to have a rough time deciding whether they're going to be friends or foes these days, however that might be simpler if Brooklyn's mom launches a threat at Ned's wife. Paris isn't all romance and candlelight for Spencer and Trina, especially once they find themselves in a precarious situation. Despite things looking gloomy, Laura keeps out hope. Adam has a whole bevy of support as Carly, Felicia, and Jocelyn unite behind the troubled young guy. It's the end of the road for Drew and Michael. How will Carly feel about this parting of the ways? Lois has enormous preparations for her daughter and Chase's wedding. Will they all wind up on the same page? Tracy does what she does best by rising to the occasion. Jocelyn is in for a shock, and we're ready to assume it has something to do with Adam. Wonder how the residents of Port Charles feel about their mayor, Laura, bonding even deeper with coffee importer Sunny. Later, someone completely unexpected comes up on Laura's doorway. Word about Bobby's, formerly Kelly's, must be spreading, because Carly is about to meet a first-time customer. Anna and Jordan arrange up a meeting while their research proceeds. Sprina may always have Paris, 
but regrettably we won't always have Sprena. Our sister site TV Line reported that General Hospital Emmy winner Nicholas Alexander Chavez begins his leave of absence from the role of Spencer following the show's Wednesday, January 31 episode. Since his character is meant to be relocating to France so that girlfriend Trana can spend an amazing semester abroad, one might imagine that Tabiana Ali would also be taking a break. The thing is, it ain't necessarily so. TV Lines Mole reports that the actress will not be taking a break as Curtis and Portia's daughter. As by now you must know, Chavez's brief absence from Port Charles is so that the up-and-comer can star in season two of Ryan Murphy's Netflix anthology series Monster, formerly titled Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story. He is playing Lyle Menendez opposite relative newcomer Cooper Cock as brother Eric. Javier Bardem and Chloe Seveny front the cast as the killer's ill-fated parents, Jos and Kitty Menendez. And don't you just love that the Netflix teaser for the drama introduces Chavez? Um, we've known what a rock star he is for years now, thanks. On January 28, Vanessa Marcel may have revealed a whole lot more than the chapter of her autobiography on which she was working. Taking to Instagram, the General Hospital Emmy winner claimed that she was writing behind-the-scenes Brenda experiences. Stuff that I've never discussed before. Just a reminder of how much I love Morris Bernard, she continued, and what truly happened personally for me while working with him. And all of that is interesting enough, right? But then things got a whole lot more intriguing in the comments. As Marcel's followers regularly do when she blogs about General Hospital, they pleaded with her to return to Port Charles. In answer to Soak 814, who encouraged her to come back, she said, Oh, could with a fire emoji for emphasis. We need you to come on General Hospital again, messaged Spice Brown Sugar. Oak. Marcel answered, Done. Was she serious? Hard to determine from the exchanges, but a reappearance as Brenda surely isn't out of the question. Just last year, she remarked during a live chat with supporters, she guaranteed that it'll happen eventually. And the fact that Morris is always still there, you know, makes it a no brainer, she continued because I couldn't go back and work opposite a sunny recast or some of these crazy things that happened to some characters. Heaven knows the time would be perfect for Brenda to come up again in town and turn her ex's head anew. Though Sunny still newly wed to Nina, their marriage has one foot in the grave thanks to the bride, ratting out her predecessor Carly for insider trading and then keeping it a secret from her better half. Plus, Brenda's kid Alec, remember him, would be about seventeen now. But if he'd experienced even a tiny attack of SORIS, he may be old enough to compete with Spencer for Trina's affections, or get tangled in the web that Esm is continuously making. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.